Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on inside where it's a little bit warmer. In last week's video, I got the touch-ups done and the runs scraped out. So now I've started work on wet sanding uh, these these spots back. First with 1,000 grit and then with 2,000. So I've got started down in here. I'll go up to here and then get the stuff at the front. Well, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but uh, it turns out that the paint I had put in the can was just slightly darker than the finish here. So it shows up. There's a line right about here on that spot. And I'm not sure if you can see it through here. There's a dark, dark spot here. And there was a dark spot here. And then I've kind of messed things up even further by sanding it, try to sand it down too much. And I've got down, you can see the primer just showing through here. I'm just going to get out the spray gun, hook up the compressor, and use the paint that I've got that's the actual color. And that way I can uh, make sure it gets matched up properly. Well, weather conditions haven't been great as far as temperatures concerned, and it's probably not ideal to be doing any of this spray painting. So what I'm going to try and do uh, is get a little creative in here. I'm going to, uh, I've got my radiant heater going. I'm going to put the my other heater going full blast for a while to warm up the garage. I've also got one of these uh, old style halogen lights that actually throw off a lot of heat. I put that inside the boot. My thinking with that is it'll warm up the inside of the car here so that the surface actually gets warm as well. So I'm going to do a bit of cleanup and a bit of setup to get ready to spray. It's not going to take very much at all. And it's just one of those things I just got to get done. And as I've said two or three times in the previous videos, then I can get to polishing and putting stuff on the car. And speaking of polishing, I've been taking some time uh, to work on one of the doors. And as you can see from the reflections here, it's actually turning out quite nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. Probably take another couple of uh, rounds on that one. Then I can get to work on the other door. Well, I think I'm just about ready to mix paint up and get going here. The garage is up to a very comfortable temperature. Um, I've had the gun itself in the house, to, to, so it's physically warmed up and I've stored the paint activator and reducer in the house as well. Uh, compressors all charged up. Um, I've wiped everything down with the tap cloth where I'm going to be painting and the back of the car is warm to the touch so I'm quite happy with that. So I've turned the heaters, I've turned my main heater off, I've turned that one off and I'm just going to unplug this light here before I get started. I'll throw my mask on and I'll crack the bottom of the garage door open just for a little bit of ventilation and just leave the, the ceiling fan going. Okay, I've given the color um, a really good mix. It's been sitting for a while. <coughs> so that's stirred up well. So I'm just going to use uh, my measuring cup again here or mixing cup and this goes into four to one to one which means four parts color one part reducer, one part activator. And I'm probably just going to go up to the two level on here because I really don't need an awful lot of paint. So I'll get to that, get it all mixed up, and get it sprayed on the car. Okay, first coat <coughs> is on. That's on the edge of the door there. And then along the top at the back here, you can see the really shiny spot. That's where I get sprayed. And then down and through here. So I'll just wait for this to flash off for about 15 minutes, and then I'll put a second coat on. Well, I now have two coats on all of the patch spots. So down along the door jam here, on the back deck, and on the just above the license plate recess down here. So I'm going to turn the heat back on in the garage, leave it for a couple of days before I start sanding. Uh, but what I'll do is there's lots of bits and pieces I can do. I can finish polishing both of the doors inside and out. Or the plinth for the license plate light just down here, that needs to be sanded and polished. So even while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, there's still lots of work to do. 
Well, I've just checked out the paint here after leaving the car for a few hours and there's no runs, which I'm very thankful for. And just a couple of uh, dirt nibs um, in this area here. And we're all good down uh, this, uh, this side here. So I'll give that a few more days to, to set up and try and keep it as warm as I can. The weather's supposed to warm back up again, so that shouldn't be too hard to keep things warm. Yeah, very happy with how uh, these touch-ups have turned out. Well, that's a wrap for episode 102. Thank you for joining me. So I'm happy now to get everything back to one color. And still a little bit of sanding in that to do before I get to polishing, uh, but I'll get working on that over the next uh, few days here. It's been a tedious couple of weeks, uh, but I'm glad we've got to the end of that part of the project. If you'd like to get a hold of me, you can do so by using the email address below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you'll get notified when the next video comes out. And if you want to catch up on the previous video, I'll just put a link to that video up in the corner over here. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.